living in the West Loop maybe um, three years now, and uh, like as more people come and enjoy the neighborhood, it just gets harder to walk, especially when a lot of patios and sidewalk cafes are opening up. So, I mean, it's nice to have it, but it's also challenging to get around <laughs> if they're not mindful of the space and the sidewalk. It's just hard to get get just down the street if there's like a like a, a planter here, a tree there, like a bike, and now with the scooters. Like the scooters are, are nice to have, but people just leave them everywhere. And as a person in a wheelchair, I can't pick it up and move it like everybody else or just like walk around it. So it's challenging getting around. I think our city is really changing in how we use our sidewalks. These sidewalks now have seating for restaurants. And so we've got to accommodate for that in our thoroughfares and really think through in our guidelines and our ordinances to make the neighborhood more inclusive for everyone. So basically I have a spinal cord injury and whenever like I hit a bump in the road or a cobblestone or like uneven pavement, it kind of triggers a spasm, like a muscle spasm in my back. Oh, really bumpy. Back spasms. There we go. It's not painful, but it just like kind of throws me that I can't, I can't really, I have to stop and then not go forward again. So if it's like raining or, you know, the weather's bad and also there's a lot of obstacles, I just, I really, it takes me like 10 minutes to get down any yeah. sidewalk when everybody else who's able-bodied can just walk right down, not yeah. have to worry. I love living in this neighborhood and I moved to the neighborhood partly because the buildings are newer. It is um, more accessible in the sense that they clear the snow out really well around the businesses and things and around Union Station. And so that made it really attractive for me to move here because in inclement weather it's easier to get around. I think ultimately it is a broader story of how we're using our sidewalks. And when there's gonna be more foot tra traffic and a larger residential population, you've gotta think that through.